All right. So let's real quick talk about the Desmos calculator and using it to build your presentation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to desmos.com slash calculator. This link is found in your project. And this is the screen that we're presented with. Uh, on the, we have a title up here. We have a spot to enter our equations. We have our graphing screen. And we have a keyboard down here. And this is most important on the iPads, uh, as you can use a regular keyboard uh, on the computers. But let's say that the project that I want to actually draw right now or make a graph of is uh, an exponential function. Let's say it's 300 times 1.4 to the third. Now that doesn't really do anything. You'll notice it just gives you an answer right here. Instead, we need to remember that in order to graph something, we have to have a variable. So make sure you do have a variable. You'll notice as soon as I put the value of x up here, we got this little red dot. If you were to come over here and use this minus button where it says zoom out, you'd eventually get to see the graph running right here. So I'm going to come back to the center and let's talk about how we decided that. So to enter 300, it's pretty straightforward. Three zero zero. Oops. Three zero zero. Our parentheses are over here on the left, so I'll open a parentheses and I'll type 1.4 in parentheses. You notice that puts me on the outside. Now we have to put our exponent in. This button here, a raised to the b power, is our exponent slot. By clicking that once, it's moved my cursor into the exponent slot. And right here is my variable, x. Once again, as soon as I put the variable in, it created this little red color. And again, if I zoom out here, I can see my graph. You'll notice that the keypad turned away when I did that. If I need that back, it's down here in the lower right where it says show keypad. Finally, we want to be able to take this and insert it into something like a PowerPoint or a Prezi. To do that, we have to screen capture. And there are a few different ways to do it. But on a Windows computer, here's the easiest way. I'm going to go to my Start menu, All Programs. I'm going to scroll down to Accessories. And then I'm going to select this one, the one where it says Snipping Tool. When I do that, I get this new box up here to the right. And my, cr and my cursor turns into a little crosshair. I can now click and drag. And look, it creates a new image of just what was in that box. In fact, I can also, with this pen, write using my mouse. Not the cleanest thing in the world, but it does work. There's also a highlighter feature so I can highlight values and an eraser so that I can erase stuff should I choose to. This button here, the third one from the left, is the copy button. What this does is it copies it to your computer's clipboard. I'll click that and it's now available for me to paste elsewhere. So if I shrink this window, I can shrink this window, and I'm gonna open up PowerPoint. So let's say we have our presentation. So here's my compound interest presentation by me. We add a new slide, and let's say I wanna add the picture right here. I can click in this box, right click, and then choose paste picture and that will insert my picture. <clears throat> in addition, if my cursor is in this box, I can also press Control V to paste that picture as well. So that's a real quick demonstration of how to use Desmos Calculator and the snipping tool to be able to pull graphs and put them into your presentation. Hopefully this will help you as you work on your project.